Hello and welcome to HTML5 Mobile Game Development by Example, Veggies vs Zombies. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro, I'm the founder of Zamba, and I'll be your instructor throughout this course. What we'll build in this course is a defense game similar to Plant vs Zombies. Defense games are games where you have to stop enemies from reaching a certain point. You're defending, in this case, your home from an attack of zombies. The sun that you see here is uh, the equivalent of money. So there's suns that are there are suns falling from the sky, and I can grab them, and that will increase my number of suns. Um, I can also plant there's certain things that will help me pr uh, prevent the zombies from reaching the house. If I plant sunflowers, they will produce additional sun. So they're they're the money makers here. The more sunflowers I have, um, the more sun I will be getting throughout the game because they produce sun as you can see. Then I have the shooting plants such as this one and this one. They have different power uh, but they do the same thing which is basically shoot bullets to repel the zombie attack. The other type of plant that we have are the chilies. Chilies are um, uh, they, they will explode if in contact with an enemy. So I'm gonna put one of them here for instance and as you can see, when the zombie reaches the chili, there's an explosion and it, the zombie is dead. I beat the level when I kill all the zombies, and then I move on to the next level. If any of the zombies or creatures or chickens, whatever, reaches my home, then I lose the game. So those are the game mechanics. It's very simple. It's similar to other defense types of games, and it incorporates elements that are common to most two-dimensional games. Now let's move on in the presentation. Um, the course goals are for you to learn how to create simple two-dimensional games by creating this simple defense game, uh, Veggies vs Zombies. You'll learn the Quintus HTML5 game framework, which is a JavaScript library that's very lightweight that allows you to create games using simple web technologies. This course will be a starting point for you to keep on learning because this is such a new topic that there's so many new things coming out that it's really, really interesting. I love it, and I'm sure you'll love it too. HTML5 game development. Let's talk a little bit about that. HTML5 games are games that you build using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the open web technologies, the same ones that you use to, uh, to build websites. We live in a post-PC world where people access the internet and information systems from all sorts of devices. People don't not necessarily use a PC or a laptop. They might be accessing your game from a smart TV, from a phone, from a tablet, and who knows from what else in a few years. It's a mobile world. Everything is cross-platform, and that's when, where, um, that's why web technologies are such a good choice because they're open. You can still open a web page that was built in 1990. But if I send, if I send you a, a DOS game from 1990, I'm not sure if you can run that on your operating system. There's there are game frameworks. Those are libraries that allow you to create games in a more um, easy manner. So you don't have to worry about creating your own method to display images on the screen or to have some basic physics. You can rely on the framework for that. The framework that we'll use in this course is called Quintus and it's a really, really awesome framework. Some game mechanics that we'll cover, you'll learn collision detection, that's when two things collide, timing events, uh, how to have things happening over like uh, in a certain interval or at a certain point in your level, Game over, moving to the next level, restarting the game, beating the game, we'll cover all of those. User interaction using touch screen, user interface, loading levels from um, JSON objects, how to deal with multiple levels, and some audio. Zemba, that's um, our company, you can find it on zemba.com to find out about our all of our content and courses and different uh, tutorials that we publish. Um, we have a YouTube channel, feel free to check out, subscribe. Sometimes we post free videos of our premium courses so that you can check them out before buying, just make sure that you like them. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. We have three technology blogs, two of them in English, Game Dev Academy and HTML5 Hive, and a Spanish one, The Idea App. Now let's get started and let's make that game. <laughs> 